Hi. If you want to build a VR using Unity, you have to set up your development environment before you can build anything from Unity. This video will show you how to set up your development environment, but you need to take care this is only for building application for Google VR Cardboard. So if you are using any high end of the VR headset, this is not the video for you. Let's take a look at the components if you want to build the Google VR Cardboard application using Unity. The first element of course is Unity. But before I look at this, I prefer you take a look at the deployment platforms. So there are two development platforms or deployment platforms you are target for. If you want to build a Google VR application, one is your iPhone or iOS device, the other is the Android device. So you need to make sure your computer can build application for both platforms before you build anything from Unity. Let's take a look at the Apple. If you want to build Apple application or iOS application, you need to make sure you have installed Xcode on your Mac. And you also need an Apple developer account, which costs you 99 bucks per year. Not a very good deal, but this is the only way you can if you want to build application for your iOS device. On the other side, if you want to use Android, you just need an SDK. But I suggest you install Android Studio. Of course, some people prefer. I don't want to install Android Studio. I just need the SDK for building the VR cardboard application. But for beginner, I suggest install Android Studio because inside Android Studio, you will have an SDK manager, which can help you to manage different addition of the Android. And if you want to build the VR cardboard application, the minimum version is 4.4 KitKat. So just make sure and your computer, you have a 4.4 SDK, and that's it. Let's take a look at the Unity. Unity is, is cannot build VR cardboard by default. So in this video, I just wanted to using the VR provided by Google, and this is called the Google VR SDK. So if you want to build anything for Google VR cardboard, and using the Google VR SDK, I suggest you install 2018 long-term support release for Unity. Of course, you can download the latest version. It doesn't matter because for the one machine, you can install multiple version of Unity. But if you're building for Google VR Cardboard, I suggest using 2018. It's more stable. All right. Let's take a look how to set up your environment. All right, so let's take a look of how to install all this component together and set up your Unity so you can build your VR applications for VR Cardboard. So there's several elements you need to download. Uh, for Android, you can go to the developer android.com and download the Android Studio. And for Xcode, you can go to the Apple website and download Xcode. And for Unity, you can go to Unity to download the Unity Hub. First, I just download the Android Studio. And here's I got the um, downloaded version. I just copied this to the application. And that's it. All right, so I suggest you install the Android Studio and Xcode before you install Unity. All right, so it's more stable. And uh, of course, it has uh, some of the path setting before uh, you can build the application. So I suggest you make sure your computer do not have any problem to build for Android and iOS before you install Unity. So now I have an Android Studio installed and I also have an Xcode installed. And uh, there's nothing to set it up, but you need to take care is the SDK. So I would like to install the SDK for Android first. Okay, for Apple, you don't need to install other thing than Xcode. Just make sure you have the Apple developer account. You can use an Xcode to build your application. So let's go to the Android Studio. So I just go to Android Studio. 
and uh, this is the first time I open it so it will check something for my security and some of the setting and ask you okay you want to open this application because it's not a authorized developer or something just click OK and just open the Android Studio so you don't need to build anything here but you just go to the SDK manager to make sure you have installed the correct version of SDK before you can build the VR application for Google Cardboard. So there's a tool under the configurations and that's called the SDK manager. You open this panel and you will see any of the Android application already installed on your computer. So if you haven't clicked anything, I suggest at least you have installed the Android 4.4 KitKat or you can install any latest version, all right, especially uh, the Android version of your Android phone. But at least you have this 4.4 KitKat, that should be done. And you also need to take care is the Android SDK location. Most of the time, if we install it inside your library folder, and it will create a folder called Android, and also the SDK will be installed inside the SDK folder. And this path, Unity will need it, all right? So if you want to using the Unity, and this is the path you want to, um, the Unity will check this link uh, when you build for Android application. So after you install this, and you click OK, and it will download all the application on the SDK and install on your machine, and for Android, that's done. All right, so and then you will need to download the Unity. So now I already have the Android Studio with the correct SDK installed on my computer. And I also have an Xcode and I also have an Apple's developer. So there's another thing I also need to install for building application for iOS and Android. And then I can go to Unity to download the Unity Hub. And after you download the Unity Hub, you can install it. And I just already download here. And I just sorry install um, this Unity Hub and agree. And I just drag this to application. All right, so now I have the Unity Hub without install any Unity. So you need to make sure I'm not clicking um, the choose your Unity plus download. I just download the Unity Hub so I can select which version I need to download uh, using Unity Hub. So let's open Unity Hub and I can select uh, the version I need for Google Cardboard development. So if you are the first time you're using the Unity Hubs and uh, the Unity Hubs will ask you to activate a license so you can use in Unity. So if you are first time, I suggest you go back to Unity and register account and you can using this accounts to um, um, enable or activate your license. So once you activate your license, you can go back um, to your Unity Hub here, and um, and then you can install the uh, lesser server version of Unity if you want to build for a VR cardboard. So where you can build or install um, your uh, Unity version is under the Installs uh, tab here. So just go to install. So you can see uh, this is the uh, Flash uh, Unity Hubs. There's no any Unity in store yet. So I need to add. And there's a separate version I can select. Of course, uh, the latest version of 2019.3. Or if I want to build for Google VR Cardboard, I can just using this 2018. So this is a long-term support release. And you can also using 17, but I suggest using uh, 2018 and you can also install both all right multiple version doesn't matter every time you open a new project you just can select okay which edition of unity you want to use so now I just installed 2018 and just click next and uh, there's several component you need to make sure you have the include here so the first is the Android build and this will allow your Unity to build application for Android and also the iOS build if you want to build application for iOS. And by default, you can see the WebGL's build support. All right, so basically you just need to enjoy iOS slide it. 
and click done. And then uh, the units will diagnose the correct version. Okay, so after you install the Unity, you need to double check. Do you have the Android build support, the iOS build support, before you can build anything for the VR cardboard. So if you haven't seen these two icons, you may need to go to here and click the Add module again and select the corresponding checkbox and install the corresponding build for your Unity. And that's it. So you already have the correct version of Unity. You already have the SDK for Android. And I also have the Xcode for the iOS. And in the next video, I will show you how to set up the Unity environment so you can build for both Android and iOS device.